Okay, y'all welcome to the second session of our uh, trying to secure funding. Um, today, I would attempt to look at problem definitions. I would attempt to look at goals. Um, I would attempt to look at the objectives and fitting that into the national funding framework. Yeah. So the, the funding framework for me, I would want to situate that within the current framework of Ghana, um, as an example. I do understand there are a lot of processes that are ongoing, like what we have in the FR100 for many of the African countries and the Southeast Asia countries. Um, so my presentation would um, attempt to look at problem diagnostic overview, um, certain goals within national framework, and what are the national objectives. Now, overall, I, I, I sort of see, let's assume that you want to define a particular um, trajectory that your chapter wants to go through. Um, the first thing that I would look at um, I have used an example like restoring degraded forest lands. Um, it means that you clearly have seen a problem with um, forests um, being lost in, in, in your country. And then the objective of, of that chapter is to help restore degraded forest land. Now, what are the remnants in terms of what are the opportunities that are available in terms of forest um, restoration. Um, key issues that you can look at for is uh, agroforestry, farmer assisted natural regeneration, mangrove and watershed management, and forest reserves. And of course, if you're looking at it in the global space, you need to look at it from the overall structure in terms of what um, such a problem and when you are able to get solutions for it, what this stands to um, create within the a particular community space. Um, you look at it from the perspective of job opportunities um, for the youths, produce new evidence for forest management, and also facilitate technology adoption and integrate into operations, um, especially when it comes to manual of operation for each country's case. Of course, we are also looking at um, how this can stimulate some community response and also boost local trade, increase economic activities and promote tourism. In the case of if you are promoting um, ecotourism within a particular degraded forest area. So of course, first of all, you need to identify what problem you are trying to address and try to connect all the dots to that problem um, in terms of solutions and look at the overall picture in terms of a, a positive outlook. Um, so this is what I call the problem diagnostic view um, that I expect that if you want to set out an objective, first of all, you need to situate it within a problem and you need to look at it from the positive outlook and how this tends to um, feed into national frames. Now, what are the complementary national policies um, as we have? So um, as I just said, I'm using the case of Ghana. So in Ghana, we have quite a lot of um, policies. Some of them have faded out. The, um, of course, key among them is the GSG, DA, which um, the last part ended in 2017. These are national broad policies um, that anchored um, a lot of um, climate change issues, a lot of development issues, especially pertaining to environment and forest. We have the Ghana Forest Development Master Plan. Um, these documents are situated within the Ministry of Forests and Natural Resources. You can easily assess them. The Ghana Climate Change Policy, we had the Ghana Forest and Wildlife Policy, we had the Ghana Plantation Strategy, Ghana Draft, Low Emission Development Strategy, and Ghana National Determined Contributions. And of course, first step, 
these documents are national frameworks that we work with. So in setting out your objective, look out for some of these documents. I know in the case of uh, many of the West African countries, we have situated ourselves within um, some of these national frameworks. And I believe that um, if, in order to be able to have a very solid case in terms of national support and um, usually donors who ask uh, which of your objective contribute to a national system or a national process so you can situate some of the objectives within this particular framework. Now, I, I want to give a prominence to the Red Plus system that we have in Ghana, um, which for me is one that uh, we should look to ingrain some of our objectives and our broader um, goals into them. Um, I know we have Red Plus processes in many countries, including Latin America. Um, all over Africa, we all have the Red Plus processes. Of course, with the objective to significantly reduce emissions from deforestation, forest degradation over the next 20 years, whilst at the same time addressing threats that undermine ecosystems and the environmental integrity. They have broad categories. Um, we have the Ghana Emission Reduction Program for the landscape. We have Ghana Emission Reduction Program for the sheer landscape of the northern savannah woodlands. And of course, Ghana Red Plus Program for Policy and Legislation Reform on Tree Tenor and Carbon Rights. And of course, I, I have been very fortunate to have um, in the past many projects that try to address issues of tree tenor and carbon rights. Um, of course, the Emission Reduction Program for trans, Transnational Forest Landscape, an Emission Reduction Program for the Coastal Mangrove, and Emission Reduction Program for the Togo Plateau. So these are broader national uh, objectives that when we are setting some of these objectives, find out some of these um, broader national objectives and try to situate your religious goals for each chapter within these broader categories so that you are part of a national drive towards achieving a, a defined goal. Of course, in terms of our uh, implementation of Red Plus phases, Ghana, we, are, um, we, we have done a lot of readiness things. We've done a lot of implementations. Um, at the moment, we are looking at resolve-based payment for actions, and that is why we are we are we are currently developing action for resolve-based payments, and also trying to see um, how these actions um, also translate into livelihood matters. So these are broad categories that I just wanted to highlight on, and of course, um, thank you. So in in a nutshell what i am looking at for is for us to be able to situate our objectives um Sheila will be delving much into the specific objectives requirements and what constitute an objective what constitute a goal and how you should make them smart i basically wanted to look at them from the national framework and what are some of the policy and opinion to them thank you very much for your audience i look forward to meeting you on friday